Good evening and welcome to this The B Broadcast, brought to you by The B Broadcasting Commission. I am your moderator, Brianna Edwards. Today we have with us candidates vying for the 2021-2022 position of Regional Ambassador for the Aircastle High School Students Council. This evening's discussion takes the form of a debate and intends to us identifying and clarifying the plans of our regional ambassadors candidates to bring about an effective change to the York Castle High School Students Council. This and more when we return on the B broadcast. Welcome back to the B Broadcast, brought to you by the B Broadcasting Commission. We welcome our three candidates, Delano Chambers, Justin Mills, and Nia Simone Newton, vying for the position of Regional Ambassador for the Yorkshire High School's Students' Council. The guidelines for this evening's discussions were previously agreed upon, so at this time, we will take our two minutes opening statement from the candidates and we will begin with Mr. Delano Chambers. Uh, good day, everyone. Thank you for having me on the show this afternoon. Um, yes, I am Delano Chambers, man running, man himself running for regional ambassador, the student council election. Okay. I have always been curious about student body affairs and how and hope this can be an opportunity to make a difference at the ARCAS. I have many ideas that I think would be very helpful to the student council and, I, and to student council and to help benefit the school. I have always been interested in what goes on in our school and would like to be active in part of making those decisions which affect us as students. I realize that promptness is very important in doing this job. I have what it takes, leadership skills, the right mindset, and will to listen to all and make a right decision. Thank you. You're uh, muted. You're muted. Thank you, Mr. Chambers. We will now head on to Mr. Mills for his opening statement. Okay, thank you for that. Good morning, everyone. So my name is Justin Mills and I am van for the position of regional ambassador. I have been, I am the current DCRA, hence I have this requisite skills and the abilities to properly execute the position of the regional ambassador. That's why you should vote for me. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mills. We will now head on to Ms. Nia Simone Newton. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I am vying for the, po um, the position of regional ambassador. And I think I have what it takes because I have been working under Justin and you, Mar. I've been working with them because I'm also in the executive. And I have experience because I've been also working with the best, Bobby Francis and 
Mark Johnson. So, and I am clear, I am right now, I'm the clerical assistant. So me going for the post as regional ambassador, I think I have what it takes. Thank you, Miss Newton. Thank you all. We will now head on right into our questioning and answer segment. Candidates, kindly be reminded that you are given 90 seconds to answer or to respond to each question. And if you wish to rebut, you are given 45 seconds to do so. Cross rebuttals are also allowed. Now, this question will be addressed to all candidates. Presidential candidate Dante Minto has presented a campaign ticket, including candidates Dante Minto for president of the Students' Council, Amelia Taylor for junior vice president, Gabriel Williams for senior vice president, and Russell Wright for financial director. Are you in support of these candidates and why? We'll begin with you, Mr. Chambers. Okay, let's see. All right. I am, I am, I could say I'm in support of these candidates here. But bear in mind, I'm not just going to support because of names. I would have to know what they are bringing to the table. You know? Um, they, they have to be, be outstanding. They would, have to, they would have to they bring out something different from the other candidates to get my support fully. So I would be, would be, I would support them, you know, what is what they would bring to the table where I would support. Okay, thank you, Mr. Chambers. Uh, Mr. Mills. Okay. You are muted, Mr. Mills. Yes, I would support them. Dante, you know, Dante has a lot of experience in the council, right? Um, I don't really know much about Miss Taylor, and I know that Rachel is the current FINDEREC, so yeah, she has a little experience here and there. And of course, Gabrielle for Senator, yes, she has a lot of experience also, and I think that she will, you know, operate the role effectively. Thank you, Mr. Mills. Uh, Ms. Newton? I think I would support them. And uh, for also for Dante and Gabrielle and R Rachel, right? That's her name, right? Yes, correct. Rachel. Rachel, yes. Thank you for correcting me. Yes, I, they have my full support because they have experience. Not saying that something new is, is bad, you know, but you don't really want anything, something fresh, and they don't really know what they're doing, any guidance. You want some somebody knows what they are doing. So, yes, they have my full support. All right. Thank you, Miss Newton. Uh, the position of regional ambassador is quite an interesting post. What are the roles and responsibilities of the regional ambassador in the council? And that question is addressed to you, Mr. Chambers. Okay, so um, I would say basically, as you say, they are they are the um, backbone the agents of the the council, which implies the air castle as regional power and beacon of student leaders. They are basically rep are representative representatives of the council and to ensure both the school and council maintains a good re relationship with other um, schools. All right, thank you, Mr. Chambers. Mr. Mills, do you wish to rebut? No rebuttal from me. All right, thank you, Ms. Newton. No rebuttal. All right, thank you. Uh, what led you to become interested in becoming a regional ambassador? And that question is addressed to all candidates. We'll begin with you again, Mr. Chambers. All right, the regional ambassador. It is a very um a very job, a, a very good job that suits me best, you know, because I like to represent and I do good at representing, and I'm a good diplomat. Um I see this the regional ambassador has something great to accomplish, you know? And basically. 
All right, thank you, Mr. Chambers. Mr. Mills, your response. Okay, so I think that I, this position suits me because as Mr. Chambers said, the representation, and I can really represent a school quite well. And I mean, my personality, I'm very sociable and I am very you know, jovial. And that's, that's basically some characteristics needed to be an effective regional ambassador. So yes, I would say that my personalities and experience. Thank you, Mr. Mills. Uh, Ms. Newton. Okay, um, for me, I always saw the regional ambassador. I saw it as because at first, Umar, well, Umar, Umar Dixon currently has that, has this job of the regional ambassador. And I always admired him because he has the job. You understand? I like the things that he did. And from grade seven, I have been representing my class and grade eight and in grade nine now. And executive so me being the regional ambassador i'm very outgoing and bold so that those character traits come in with the regional ambassador to be a regional ambassador you have to be bold and you have to be outgoing and friendly to know others how to interact with others so that is why i choose this all right thank you miss newton uh mr chambers how would you ask assess the effectiveness of the outgoing regional ambassador, Mr. Umar Dixon. What do you think he could have done differently that would have brought about better representation of the Students' Council? Mr. Chambers? Okay. Um... Could you repeat that one for me, please? The last part. How? Okay. Uh, what do you think he could have done differently that would have brought about better representation of the students' council? I see. Um, let's see. You know, um, he could have been more. Um, Let's see where that. Let's see. It could have been more. Uh, it could have communicated more with with um with this with with the uh, uh, students of the uh, of the YC. So that because I did, uh, honestly I didn't know that humor was the um regional ambassador. To tell you the truth, you know, is on becoming is is when I'm. During the this election, I found out that he was the regional ambassador, so he could have um expressed himself more, or make the school know who he is, you know, to get to get response from students, and to um you know, so that he can make the, the right decisions in carrying out his job. Honestly. Thank you, Mr. Chambers. Mr. Mills, do you wish to rebut? No rebuttal from me. Okay, Mr. Mills. Miss Newton, do you wish to rebut? Yes, I would like to. Uh, when you say that you didn't know he was the regional ambassador, I think, well, mo I think most people would know um, that you, Mark Dixon, was the regional ambassador because we had town hall meetings. And that town hall meeting is when everyone can come. So not to bash you, but you could have join the meeting when we had town hall meeting and you will realize who is who is in the council from who is not in the council thank you miss newton all right thank you uh miss newton we're with you how do you plan on building community and pride to the students council and the population as large who you're willing to represent as a regional ambassador I think I can do that by when I go to when I meet up with the schools, right? When I meet up with the schools, say online, right? I meet them up. I will give us speech, yes, and other things, I guess. And uh, right, thank you. 
Let me go ahead with Miss Newton. Yes, as I was saying, I will meet up with the schools, give them a speech and leave a mark there. You just you want them to know that, hey, this regional ambassador near Simone Newton left a mark with us that you know her, that others know her, that you represent the council well. So, yes. Thank you, Miss Newton. Uh, Mr. Chambers, do you wish to rebut? I will rebut. Mr. Mills. I'm in total agreement with Ms. Nia Simone. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Chambers, with a pandemic resulting in various limitations, will you be able to fully commit to the demands of this position? Yes, indeed. I have no problems. Um, I, I, I wouldn't find any fault in, in um, completing my job as pertain to being a regional ambassador. The, the, um, the pandemic has, um, has been rough, but I would say we are moving forward and it, this is no time to be thinking about the past. We have to be moving forward you know, we have to improvise on what we can do. So I would work with it. I would have any problems at all. All right, thank you, Mr. Chambers. Mr. Mills, do you wish to report? No rebuttal. All right, thank you, Miss Newton. No rebuttal. Okay, thank you, Mr. Mills. And uh, this question will be addressed to all candidates. When looking at Kadeen, Miss Kitty Hilton, Shalene Fraser Price, Usain Bolt, Brianna Williams, who are all ambassadors for brand digital, we would have seen how they represented the brand in a positive light. Are you inspired by any brand ambassador? Tell us by whom you're most inspired and why. Mr. Chambers, we'll begin with you. All right. Brand, all right, let me see. Um, you see in bold. This one, the star. You see in bold. Is a, is a great example of an ambassador. The guy, um, you know, he's the fastest man in the world. He has his brands all over him. You see brand all over. You look at him, you see brand all over Mr. Bull. When he, when he runs, he runs for his brand. You know? Um, Mr. 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 Bull, no. When, when, he, when he goes out and he runs, he, 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 um, he showcases his brand, making others know what what it's about, the style, the uniqueness of it, because we want to want to um to get a hold of that brand, feel and feel what he feels while running. You know. All right. Thank you, Mr. Chambers. Mr. Mills, your response. All right. With you saying both, as a brand ambassador, yes, like. He keeps a good communication with, with the members in his community, et cetera, so that eventually, yes, they would know that, yes, he is the brand ambassador for such, such and such company. Therefore, a very good brand ambassador, I would say. No, Mr. Mills, whom are you most inspired by and why? All right, I would be say that I would I am inspired by the current CRA, Mr. Yomar Dixon. Reason being, the other day he went out to represent the school in the parliament with the prime minister and other high members of the country, and he did a pretty good job. And yes, I look up to him. Awesome, thank you, Mr. Mills. Uh, Miss Newton, your response, please. My response is Shelly Ann Fraser. She, I like how she represents Digicel well and others. And for me, I will also say Umar Dixon, because as I said earlier, Umar Dixon, he represents the council well, especially when he went to parliament, as Justin Mill said. And he was he's one of the reasons why I wanted to go for this position. So Umar Dixon. Thank you, Miss Newton. Uh, 
Mr. Delano Chambers, Mr. Delano Chambers, uh, sorry, you promise us a new vision, new future, and you describe yourself as a leader people can trust. How can we trust that these are not just false promises? All right. Yes. All right. Well, it's, yeah, it, it is. It's, it's, I, I, I am, I'm always one to be um to carry out know, the right job, you know. All right, I've been a, a leader for over the past seven years, and never have I ever missed a job. I have never told anybody anything that I wouldn't um that I would do. All right, so I'm a remember I'm a, I'm a deceased boat leader, Yarkas, you know, the lieutenant. Every every parade that takes place at YC, I'm always there to represent. I'm always leading it. I'm always there to cooperate. I'm always there to carry out my job. There is nothing that I say that I will do, that I will go back on my word. That is not my way. Thank you, Mr. Chambers. Uh, Mr. Mills, your campaign flyer says one good term deserves another. Have, how have you made your mark in the Students' Council and what do you plan to do if elected as a regional ambassador? Okay, um, how I made my mark? Okay, so as I said before with this, I represented the school. I also represented the school in a regional project in Trelawney with other schools. So I would say that I would make my mark there because, you know, during this time when everybody is basically scared of their lives and we are out there putting our own lives at risk, I would say that that is a pretty bold move and a strong mark. And if I get re-elected, I would simply finish up the, the duties that we would not have accomplished because of the 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 pandemic we are currently in. So yes, we would hopefully we get a chance to come back to school face to face so that we can, you know, finish implementing our strategies, etc. Thank you, Mr. Mills. And Miss Newton, your campaign flyer says vote the best, forget the rest. Why do you consider yourself as the best candidate for this position? You're muted, Miss Newton. Sorry, I consider myself as the best candidate because as I said earlier, I'm very outspoken and I'm bold. Yes, there may at times you may get nervous and shy, but you have to, what you have to do, you have to do. You have to be determined to do it. And I also say I'm the best because I have experience. Not only, not saying experience will carry you far away, you still have to learn new things. So, me being the best, I think everyone is the best to be honest, but you have to you have to use your your mind and have others to help you. You can't just be big and bad and bold like that. You have to listen. So I say I'm the best because I'm a good listener and I am friendly. So yes. Thank you, Miss Newton. Thank you all. We will take another break here on the B broadcast as we continue speaking with candidates, Delana Chambers, Justin Mills, Nia Simone Newton, vying for the position of regional ambassador for the Yorkcastle High School's Students Council.
Welcome back to the B Broadcast, brought to you by the B Broadcasting Commission. We're speaking with candidates vying for the position of public of regional ambassador for the Yercaster High School's Students Council. In this segment, candidates will be allowed to throw out one to five questions at each other. The candidate responding is given two minutes and 30 seconds to respond. And at this time, we'll begin with Mr. Delano Chambers to ask his question. Mr. Delano Chambers. This question goes to um, Justin Mills. You have been a regional ambassador already in the student council. Why have you chosen to run again and not for a different position in the council? Thank you for that question, Mr. Chambers. I have chosen to run for regional ambassador once more because I have the experience and I basically, basically the blueprint of what I am supposed to do. So therefore with the current scenario going to, we'll be leaving so you would need somebody with experience, experience sorry, to continue the, the legacy that he has left with us. That is why I chose to run back for the position of the regional ambassador. Thank you, Mr. Mills. Mr. Mills, we're still at you, your question. Okay, this question goes to you, Mr. Chambers. What are some specific organizations or individuals within the community of the York Castle High School that would partner with to help adv advance student life at the York Castle High School? All right. So organizations that, that could help. See, you have the, the um the you have different different um clubs at the um the Arkansas High. It will be a it will be a great thing to work with the the clubs such as what do you call it the um the optimist club. That club you, you can work with that club to um to help help with the students. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Chambers. Uh, Ms. Newton, your question. My question also goes to Mr. Chambers. Mr. Chambers, like how you already have so much leadership positions, why would you take up another big one as the post of regional ambassador? Okay. Okay, I see. So, you know, being a regional ambassador is to go out and represent, right? Don't you think that me being someone that has great skills and leadership qualities, you know, uh, represent well, don't you think it is okay for me to uh, be running for this position? I have what it takes, you know. I know this is not some easy job, you know, but they say, they say, um, they say what, 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 what you, you, you make up your, your, once you have the right mindset, you know, you can accomplish anything that you wish for and taking up this opportunity will will um help me help me and also help students um help the students to 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 get a get a um to get a um what you call it now to get to get to know what it's all about being a great leader you see I would like to to make some some great to make great examples so that students can fall and not fall in the, the wrong footsteps. So this position I have chosen is to, is to help me and to help others. Thank you, Mr. Chambers. Uh, Ms. Newton, do you wish to rebut? No, I do not. 
Thank you, uh, Mr. Chimas. We're at you again with your question. Uh, this goes out to all candidates. Um, what makes a good student, a good school counselor? Thank you, Mr. Mills. We'll begin with you. Okay, thank you. What makes a good school counselor, you say? All right. What good and strong leaders, strong leaders, I would say, make a good student's counselor. Leaders who you know, are willing to listen to the students of the school, one who has strong communication with them, one who is not, you know, afraid to speak to them on necessary occasions. So I would say strong leaders would make a good counsel. Thank you, Mr. Mills. Ms. Newton? You said what makes a good counsel? A good counsel is made up of the, of out of the representatives and the leaders of the executive. And to make to have a good counsel, or let me change the word good, an excellent counselor, counsel, you would need, as Mr. Mills said earlier, you need the leaders to speak when spoken and also just to be good leaders, to make the students look up to them, to be what would you say admires the students admire them so yes that's what i think will make a good council and to represent the school because you have the leaders also have to represent the school on different occasions not only the regional ambassador yes the regional ambassador goes with them but you also have the leaders who have to go with them to also help represent the council so to represent the council the leaders also have to look good for the council to be good Thank you, Ms. Newton. Uh, Mr. Chambers, do you wish to rebut? Uh, this way, no rebut. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Mills, we are now over to you for your question. Okay, this question is all to all candidates. All right, Mr. Nicholas Henry, Mr. Justin Allen, Mr. Umar Dixon, Mr. Justin Mills. Do these names ring a bell? Pretty sure they do. Um, great leaders that were vacants of the CRA and DCRA positions. So what do you candidates plan on doing different if you were elected for this position? Thank you, Mr. Mills. We'll begin with Mr. Chambers. All right. All right. So what I would do, you see, I would plan to reach out reach out to um to the students in a in a in a very positive way. Um I I I honestly think that listening to the the the, the, the needs of others and bringing it to the the the, 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 the upper classmen and putting together that Putting together that um, that what is needed, and let's say you build up on it and make it into something greater, so that the students can can um see that you are doing something great for them. And when that happens, they would want to um they would want to 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 to, to feel more comfortable. Into 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 asking you for your, your help. Thank you, Mr. Chambers, Ms. Newton. The difference I will bring to the council is, I will try to be known, to be known as I am the regional ambassador. So I would try to make appointments with different schools to have Zoom meetings and to talk to other schools and to talk to my school especially to make them know, hey, I am your regional ambassador and not only that I represent your, you guys and the council and center for your rights and your interests, I also want you to be able to talk to me about your problems so I can give it to other people who can deal with the problem. And if I can deal with the problem, I will also do that. 
because that's basically what the council is about. The students come to you about problems they are having in their classes and they're at school overall. So I will try my best to help them because that's my job. Thank you, Ms. Newton. Uh, Mr. Mills, do you wish to rebut? No rebuttal from me. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Newton, we're over to you with your question. My question is, um, being the regional ambassador, do you think you will have ups and downs or you just go with the flow or be okay? We'll begin with you. Thank you, Ms. Newton. We'll begin with you, Mr. Chambers. Indeed, there will be some ups and downs because number one, number one, let's see, ups and downs. Sometimes it will be um some 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 um things that 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 you would like to um to to carry out. Could could um be a problem. Like you would have you would have to have like for me, you know, what I what I would like to do is is we take up a, a lot of cash. So I would see that as a problem. But otherwise I would have any problem doing doing carrying out the job as regional ambassador and representing the school and visiting other schools and discussing re, um Right to um discussing what needs to be done with other schools. I don't see I don't I would have a problem. There man, you know, there will be some ups and downs, but that, that those ups and downs, I'm sure they will be taken care of. Thank you, Mr. Chambers. Mr. Mills, your response, please. Oh, uh, Miss Nia, could you please repeat the question so I can you know. <laughs> I said, um, being a regional ambassador, will you just be okay with anything that happens or you will stand up or just go to the floor or you would have ups and downs? Okay, I mean, everything we do in life, there'll be ups and downs, but as a good leader, you would know how to strategize and have communication with other persons in the council to know how do I go about this? How do I go about that? You know, to see the better option to overcome that those ups and downs, and to go with the flow. Not really, as I said before, work with other members to see the best, the necessary, and the best option to do. Thank you, Mr. Mills. Uh, Miss Newton, do you wish to rebut? No rebut. Thank you, Ms. Newton. Mr. Chambers, we are back to you with your question. Okay, so um, low self-esteem is an issue regarding many schools. How, how you as a regional ambassador, we go out of your way to help these, to solve these issues. As the regional ambassador, I would partner with the guidance counselors of the school to plan to plan sessions with experts in this, what would you call it now, this sector to help us to, you know, give us ways to build our self-esteem and have confidence in everything we do. Thank you, Mr. Mills. Ms. Newton, your response, please. Okay, how I will deal with low self-esteem. Well, as Ms. Dixon, Mrs. Dixon has always taught us, teach us, sorry. She teaches us that, hey, if you have low self-esteem, and all right, for example, say I have a friend who has low self-esteem and I am the regional ambassador and she has to do something like in front of public or something. I can talk to her and say, hey, you're going to be okay. Just breathe in and out. Just take a moment to breathe in and out. Just relax yourself and calm down and go up there and do what you have to do. 
And if I'm going to a school now and they are dealing with low self-esteem and about body shaming and all those things, you can talk to them. And, and if I need help, if I'm not getting through to them, I will get the guidance counselor. So yes, that is how I can get through to them to make the guidance counselor talk to them because if I am not getting through to them. Thank you, Miss. Thank you, Miss Newton. And uh, Mr. Chambers, Mr. Mills, do you wish to report? Mr. Chambers, no, rather, do you wish to report? Thank you. No, uh, Mr. Mills, your questions, please. Um, all right, my last question goes to both candidates. What challenges do you foresee with your position and how do you plan on overcoming? Could you please repeat that question, Mr. Mills? No problem. I was asking, as the re regional ambassador, if you get elected, what challenges do you foresee and how do you plan or how will you overcome them? Mr. Chambers, we'll begin with you. Our challenges. Um, let's see. All right. Let's see. Coming out of the 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 the, the um the pandemic, you would have you would have um. Some, sometimes you'll have face-to-face -face classes and sometimes you don't. Some students, in order to get out to all the students, you need to get all of their cooperation. But sometimes some students are, are not attending class, they're not at school, they're not present at all. And for me to get to, to um for me to 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 want to benefit everyone. That would be a challenge because I would like everyone to benefit from, from what I have been what I what I have to do. And I would not want anyone to be left out. And um those students that are being absent would be a challenge for me. Because I would like to leave an impact on the student lives. Thank you, Mr. Chambers. Mr. Mills, your question, please. Um, you answered the part that the challenge that you foresee, but how would you overcome this challenge that every child or a student would be, you know, on board? Okay. As I said, I, heard, I would have to meet with the teachers to find out. I would do surveys. I meet with the teachers and, and find out about the students who are being who have been absent. I will try every every means in my power to communicate with these students so that they can get so that so that they can benefit from what I'll be doing. Thank you, Mr. Chambers. Ms. Newton. The challenges I think I would face is if I have to go out and to represent the um, council, I think I will have a problem facing with going out because of the pandemic. And the way how we can fix that is doing virtual meetings like what we are doing now. And also another challenge I think I will face is getting through to the students, especially in upper school and lower school because of my grade. And I'll be in grade 10 if I get the position. But the way I can also fix that is get through to the forum captains or the forum teachers and to talk to the students. Thank you, Ms. Newton. Mr. Mills, do you wish to report? Um, yes. A good leader is one who takes risks, right, Ms. Newton? So why would you be afraid to, you know, go out and represent your school? And me and the current CRA did that. Didn't you think that we were, you know, afraid of our lives as well. 
Yes, I do. But I'm saying if it's a possibility where I cannot come because of an emergency, not something they say, oh, I cannot come, I cannot make it because of the pandemic. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have probably said it like that. But if I have an emergency and I cannot make it, I would say, let's have a virtual meeting so I can still be there. You understand? So, yes. Thank you, Miss Newton. Uh, we're now over to you, Miss Newton, with your question. My question is, what are your skills if you become an ambassador for the school? What are your skills? Mr. Chambers, we'll begin with you. OK, um, it's very simple. Um, I have leadership skills, critical thinking skills. Um, a skill to listen to others, others, and one and um, listen to others. I I have I am a um a very humble person, a person who 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 take takes um his job seriously. I I um. Yes, leadership skills, the skill to, to, I have the right mindset. Let's see, yeah, critical thinking, all right. Thank you, Mr. Chambers. Mr. Mills, your response, please. All right. One skill that you would need to have as a regional ambassador, you would need to be very adaptive because that will be going to other schools or different environments you would really need that skill to you know fit in basically so i think i have that skill i'm a good communicator and pretty much a good listener also and i'll also get the job done when asked to do so so yes thank you mr mills miss newton do you wish to rebut no i do not thank you miss newton any more questions from you mr mills no, no more questions from me. Thank you, Mr. Mills. Ms. Newton? I have no more questions. Thank you, and thank you all candidates. Thank you, a very interesting segment it was. But this is our final segment in which our regional ambassador candidates will be given the chance to speak to our Yorkists as to why they should vote them for the 2021-2022 Regional Ambassador for the Yorkcastle High School Students Council. Each candidate will be given at least three minutes to give their closing remarks. Mr. Delan Chambers, we'll begin with you. Okay, all right. Delan Chambers here again, the skillless, the smart, the top man running for regional ambassador in the student council elections. The skills and qualifications I possess are a great match for the requirement for this position. I have what it takes to carry out the job. I have the right mindset also being a student leader for seven straight years. I have set so many astonishing records representing your castle high at its best. I have what it takes to be your next regional ambassador. They say the race is not for the swift, but for those who can endure it. Cast your vote on April 28th. Students, remember, do not be late. Thank you, Mr. Chambers. Mr. Mills. All right, thank you. Why should you vote for me for your next Ambassador, I have been in this game for the past academic year. One who, I mean, to be on the council, you would have to have the requisite skills and the talents to be on the council, as I said before. And you should vote for me because I am one who I can speak on the phone very well, which a regional ambassador should be able to do. I can represent a school very well. And I mean, I have, look at my face, vote for me. On April 28th, Remember to vote Justin Mills for your original ambassador. As my slogan says, one good term deserves another. Mills has what it takes. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mills. Ms. Newton, your closing remarks, please. 
What is a regional ambassador? A regional ambassador stands up for your rights and your interests. A regional ambassador is bold and outspoken. Vote for me, Nia Simone News, and for your next regional ambassador. Vote for the best and forget the rest. Thank you, Miss Newton. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We have heard from our candidates. Now the vote is in your hands to make the right choice on the polls at the polls on April 28th, 2021. Thank you all for being with us to get the B broadcast as we wish you all the very best during your campaign. This was the B broadcast brought to you by the B Broadcasting Commission. Until next time, have a good evening.